Hello, Hoggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Ken, N2DF, and he's got a little bit of a problem. It says, I live in a house that is covered in aluminum siding. So essentially you can say I am inside a Faraday shield. Not quite, because the way they put those things in there is to keep the rain and weather out not necessarily to connect all those pieces of aluminum to each other at the multiple points that would be required to create a Faraday shield. But it is a problem the way you want it. I, I, I'll admit that. I thus do not enjoy very good VHF, UHF, HT reception, nor good cell phone reception. Therefore, having an outside mounted antenna is essential. I agree. But I was wondering if I could attach the inside feed line to another antenna that could re-radiate the signal picked up by the outdoor antenna. Would it, it would be similar to a Wi-Fi system, and if such a system would work for reception, will it also work for transmission? Unfortunately, no. Okay, he, he lives in a house that's got aluminum siding. So there's aluminum here and here okay i don't know what the roof is made of or anything if this is a, a mobile home then it'll have fairly flat roof and also will have the aluminum siding so what he is thinking of doing is putting an antenna up here and having some sort of a thing like this an antenna on the inside that will go into his radio and the answer is, can this re-radiate and this pick it up? The problem that you have here is the signal that is picked up by, uh, let's say it's S9 signal, which I think is 73 minus 73 dBm. The decibels related to a milliwatt. It's way down there, and yet that's S9. This is what is picked up and is hitting down here. So you're putting right here a minus... 73 dBm signal trying to pick it up with this internal antenna. It's already so small, it's not going to really be picked up at all. It'd be extremely small. Let's say it's just double that, minus 146 dB, which is not hearable by modern radios. So you won't be able to do that. Now, there are a couple things that you can do. This right here, I've had a, a query from somebody else about this right here. This has got normal coax here and here, and then has a flat ribbon. Now the flat ribbon, you can close a window on it because it's flat, and it'll kind of bend a little bit as it goes around the corners, but you can completely close the window and keep it weatherproof rather than having to have the window slightly open or something like that. Okay, I have ordered one of these, and I'm going to measure it to see how it is. Uh, there's two of them. Uh, this is one for 60 bucks. It's from DX Engineering, and by the time we got to the tax, it was this amount right here. Okay, now there's another one that's a Chinese one, where you can get two for, and I think it's $20. I ordered those two. I wanted to compare these and see how well they work. One of the problems with doing something like, something like this is you get a wonderful impedance bump every time you change from one type of a media to another, okay? And you've got coax going to flat ribbon cable, which is probably balanced, and then back to your unbalanced over here. These things aren't very long. So that video is coming, and we're going to check that out. And then that way you would be able to run right through a window and up this way. I would avoid... A windows with aluminum frames try and find one with a wooden frame or something like that if you're renting this house i'm sure the landlord doesn't want you drilling holes in the walls sometimes you can go down like right next to a heater vent uh, i know all my heater vents are in the floor here and the ductwork is in the crawl space you can go down next to a heater vent. Now you're in the crawl space and the crawl space is always vented. You have a, a vent where you can bring the coax out. Now that's where you drive your ground rod. Okay, put a lightning arrestor in there. I've got a sample lightning arrestor right here. This is from Alpha Delta. And that way you've grounded it. You've got the thing in the house and you've not made any additional holes 
in the house. Note that putting the metal ductwork next to a piece of coaxial cable will not cause an issue because what's inside the coaxial cable is protected by the shield. What's on the outside of the cable, the so-called common mode currents, are get picked up here. You've got stuff on the outside of the shield. It gets shunted to ground right away. Makes a big difference. I hope that helps give you some ideas of what you can do. But trying to pick up an antenna, have it re-radiate, and then picked up by another antenna is just kind of a non-starter. It doesn't work because the signals are too low. The antenna itself picks up a signal that needs to be multiplied several millions of millions of times to be loud enough to be heard. So it's very weak. And then you try and retransmit that and you just run into that weakness over again. So you'd have quite a bit of trouble. I've got this part on order. And I also ordered a couple of cheap Chinese ones to go with it. And when I get those, I'll do a video. I'll do some actual testing to see how much the losses are and whether they create noise, introduce noise, and so on. Because you're going from unbalanced to balanced to unbalanced in a very short period of time. You've got an impedance bump there. It could cause an issue. So there you go, Ken. And thank you for all your support of the channel. And until we next meet, 73.